How to find good and reliable people who aren't flaky. Be a man of your word. Be a man of honor. Hang out with people that have that same kind of value system. You got to think of it in terms of like you're fishing. So where is the place that you can go fish that has a high concentration of high character individuals, people that keep their word, that kind of thing. One thing I noticed years ago when I got into shooting and training with pistol and rifle was that I met a lot of really super high quality dudes in the industry and people that love to train. And what I noticed was that they tend to be very family oriented. They all tend to have, you know, stable relationships. They love kids. They, a lot of them have pets and animals. They're, you know, really good people and they, you know, oftentimes a lot of them are former military, special forces type of guys. And it's important to have high character people in their lives and they don't tolerate any bullshit or, or any fuckery. So it's just where do you spend your time? You know, something like uh, like a yacht club. It's like I know they're, you know, like down in South Florida, it's like every city has at least, depending where you are, three or four different yacht clubs that you can join. And, you know, some of them are five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 to join. And then you got to pay an annual membership fee. I know one in particular that's a really nice yacht club. And it's fifty thousand dollars to join that particular yacht club, and it's like I don't know, ten, fifteen, twenty grand a year, just for the annual dues, and that doesn't include any of the drink or any of the food, or events that you may do at the yacht club. But you're hanging out with people that are more affluent, and they're very family oriented, and they often go to those types of things because. Quite frankly, they don't want to hang out with the other riffraff. They want to hang out with other like-minded, family-oriented people, good type of people. And so what you notice is is that, especially for somebody that didn't come, like myself, that came from just, you know, middle-class neighborhood where, you know, my neighbors, like, worked for the phone company. They worked for the electrical company. They were carpenters. You know, they were just regular, everyday people that had had regular jobs and then go on to a very affluent Catholic high school where I was kind of like one of the poor kids, basically, compared to some of my friends that are living in these mega, you know, multi-million dollar mansions back then. And what you notice is, like, what I noticed right away, I, like, I remember one of my friends, when I went over to his, his house, his, his, um, he lived with his uncle, and his uncle was a very famous eye doctor that did, you know, back in the day, RK, radial keratotomy surgery. It was kind of the predecessor to LASIK, you know, and stuff. And he had a giant house, giant mansion on the intercoastal. And you walk in the front door, and it's all these big, giant glass windows opening. They were, like, right in the corner of the intercoastal in, in Fort Lauderdale. And uh, he was extremely nice. His wife was, you know, hot. She was younger. She was a blonde American woman, and she was sweet. She's dressed to the nines. I walk in there, can I get you something to drink? Can I get you something to eat? Are you sure you're hungry? I can get you something. I'll make you a sandwich. I'll cook you something. And they're very gracious and very polite and very friendly and warm and welcome, welcoming to their home. And I was just, that was the first time I was ever there. I was like, wow. I'd never been, I mean, I, you know, everybody, I knew everybody in the neighborhood, but, you know, I was a total stranger. And that was the thing that I noticed, that people with money tend to be better mannered. They tend to have higher character. They tend to eat better. They tend to be more in shape. And they tend to date more attractive people. And so, therefore, their kids are more attractive. And you just get a different kind of vibe, a different kind of value system when you hang around people that, in essence, have abundance in every area of of their life. And so you always kind of want to try to punch above your weight, so to speak. And it's like, you are who you associate with. And so even though some private clubs or, you know, con- I mean, some of these country clubs are like quarter million a year to join half a million, you know, or membership fee, things of that nature. Some of them are really expensive. So obviously you got to find something that's in your price range. But when you look at something like that, where the membership fee is significant, then, you know, most of the, Average people with the riffraff, they're, they're not going there to hang out. People with low character that lie, they're devious, they cheat, they steal, whatever. Those kind of people just can't afford to go to those kinds of places. And so 
you know, those are things you can, can look into. It's just like, you know, you look at gyms. You have, like, Planet Fitness, or you can have something like, was it Equinox, I think, which is, you know, a real high-end, expensive type of gym that you can join. It's like people that can afford a significant amount of money to join a really nice gym are, it's just a different class of people, a different type of clientele, a different worldview, different mindset. Again, they tend to be more gracious. They tend to be more calm. They're like, come over, come out in the boat with us, come over to the house with us. We're having a party this weekend. We're having a barbecue. Bring your kids, bring your friends. There'll be lots of single girls there, whatever it happens to be. It's just, you know, if you want high character people, where are they hanging out? And what kinds of activities do you like to do where high character people like to hang out? So it's really super important that you design your social life around your hobbies, your interests, the things that you're passionate about. And like I said, joining private clubs is, you know, one of the ways to do that where just paying the admission fee, you're in a whole different realm of people and the amount of money they have and the types of things that they do and their character. Now, it doesn't mean that, you know, everybody that can drop quarter million dollars for a country club membership is a high character person and they're not going to try to rip off your wife or your girlfriend or whatever, but they're, they're typically way better people, way better quality people. They're not the type that, you know, they're going to try to screw you over or whatever, but you always have to vet no, no matter where you are. And so where are the kinds of people that you like to hang? What kind of people do you like to hang out with and what kinds of things are they typically going to do that you like doing? And go do those things. I wouldn't even bother inviting someone who's flaky to, to anything if they're going to continue doing that. You might as well hang out with people that are of good influences because the last thing you want is to also pick up that. You can also pick up that habit, too, and that's not what you want. So you're better off finding people who are more reliable. You are who you associate with. And so somebody that has like a low self-esteem or low self-worth and doesn't think very highly of themselves... If they, don't, if they don't have many friends or they don't have any friends, the person that blows them off or that acts flaky, they'll keep making excuses and keep trying to hang out with those kind of people even though they always get jerked around. And so as Maya Angelou said, when somebody shows you or tells you who they are, believe them the first time. And so when you see low character traits or you start hanging out with a guy that's, that you think is a cool dude and he'd be a great friend, but yet he's... He doesn't care. He's trying to fuck married women. He's trying to steal other guys, girls, things of that nature. It's like you shouldn't hang out with people like that because you are who you associate with. Whatever you observe, you participate in. So participate in high-character activities where high-character people congregate. And usually it's going to cost you a little, or it can. 